Scandinavian defense, Mises Kodrick variation. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black played better than white in the opening. It was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The Scandinavian defense immediately challenges the center by attacking the e4 pawn. The best move is x5, which widens the middle. If black captures on d5 with the queen, white will gleefully use nc3 to assault the queen. Qxd5 moves the queen to the center, where it has influence over many crucial squares, and recaptures the d5 pawn. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is the final book action. By assaulting the opposing queen, this activates a piece while also buying time. It is quite good. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. This prepares the bishop for development. This threatens to kick a knight. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling queenside tends to be more active because the rook is closer to the center. It is best. Castling develops a rook, while also getting the king to safety. By castling to the opposite side of the board as the opponent, the game will tend to be more double-edged. It is excellent. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. It is ideal. This misses a chance to trample a knight. It is incorrect. This poses a threat to strike a knight. That's good. This results in a pawn being lost. It is incorrect. This ignores an opportunity to win a pawn. This allows the opponent to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a chance to kick a knight. It is incorrect. There was just one smart move to be made. That falls flat. This gets rid of a pawn that was posing a material threat. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a knight. This allows the opponent to capture the checking rook. It is an inaccuracy. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. That pawn was available for free. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This exposes a bishop attack. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This reveals an attack on a pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. This is the start of the end game and white is equal. It is best. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is quite good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be opposed as it attempts to promote by other pieces. This poses a checkmate threat. It is ideal. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black played better than white in the opening. It was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. That's fine. It is good. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black played better than white in the opening. It was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.